What's up? This is Super Dimitri 1991. Here to make an announcement. But I'm not sure what I want to talk about. What I want to say. But um, I don't know what I mean. I don't know what I want to talk about. But uh, just give me give me a minute. One hour later. Uh, yeah, I already don't know what I want to talk about, but yeah, I, just, just, just give me another minute. <laughs> Two hours later. Yeah, um, I'm getting closer to what I want to talk about, but, uh, uh... Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Alright, alright. I think I know what I want to talk about. Okay, but first, theme music. Do y'all believe that I just reached 10,000 subscribers? Man, holy cow! Can, I can't believe this. Like, I worked so hard to come this far to reach 10,000 subscribers. And let me tell you this right now: I want to thank all you fans for helping me reach 10,000 subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. I, I really do. But yeah, holy cow, like, whoa, whoa, 10,000? That's incredible, like, oh, man. <laughs> Alright, so today in 10,000 subscriber video, I'm going to talk about why I like Gara and Naruto. As the Kazekage, I cannot lose. Okay. So the reason why I like this ninja dude, you guys can notice I'm wearing his I'm wearing a headband from the Sand Ninja. And also, if you guys can see it, I'm wearing his shirt. This is the Shippuden version of Gar. I have more but I ain't got time to show it up here. But yeah, Gar from Naruto is my favorite ninja dude. Because he is the ultimate defense sand ninja. Like you got all he got all this sand protection right around him behind that door he carried on his back. It's like you don't want to underestimate Gala. And people fear from him because well, because he's in he's in Jinchuriki, just like Naruto. He's a one tail Jinchuriki named Chicago. Chicago. I don't know if I said it right, but that's his Jinchuriki and he possessed with that shit. But then, yeah, it was insane of what he is. Like, he's the, you know, the ultimate defense ninja. But all that sand uh, stuff that he got in his gourd, it's like it's his mother protecting God. It's like, let's say, for example, during the fight, remember if you guys seen the episode when Gara and Rock Lee were fighting and, Rock, and you know Rock Lee was like a Taijutsu ninja but sadly he kind of lost that match and you know Gara was so serious in this fight that he wanted to kill him and then all of a sudden you know you guys see an episode with Mike Guy interrupting Gara trying to kill Rock Lee and he was like he was all like I quit. <laughs> it was so hilarious when he said that. I'm like, did, did he just quit? No, he already won the match when my guy intervened the, the match. Okay. Alright, so, Gara is my favorite dude, especially in the games. Let's talk about 
Hmm. Let's talk about uh, the game series from uh, Dark. It's uh, like his first appearance. I think it was in Ultimate Ninja, the first game and part two and part three. See, in Ultimate Ninja, it's like uh, his combos is like boom, 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 boom. But the thing is, it's really simple how to work with Dark in Ultimate Ninja, and it's very difficult. Like, how can you? Catch someone with your special, catch someone with your combos, and some shit like that. And then, they, I think for Ultimate Ninja Game Series, they had like a simple combo where you had to, you know, master them. But the thing is, for Ultimate Ninja Series from PlayStation 2, you know, he kind of walks slow, but he do that good defense, you know, like he got that, you know, that long arm, Chicago D, and also. You know, all that ninjutsu that God can learn. I mean, if you, man, the level one special is like really hilarious, and he only has two. He only has two special like sand clone. Then after that, sand burial. And boom! It's like you take like extra damage to combine the techniques in Ultimate Ninja. The first one, you might have a chance to reduce damage. In. Ultimate Ninja 1. And level 2 special is when he summoned his siblings, which is Tamari and Kunkle. They're cool. The best of the her day. Yeah, it's attacks, okay? It's like I prefer Brawlers, not like oh someone gotta help him because he's the ultimate defense ninja. They were trying to protect Gar after they're trying to when they escape the Chuniazam, which lead by Freaking World Tomorrow, and he pulls it as the Kazakage, and that there's, there's your truth. And then they felt the whole same you just felt so bad when they felt that shit. It's like they found out the truth about the death of Kazakage, and it was lead by World Tomorrow. So, it's like, they felt bad when they destroyed the hidden lead village, and then they became allies, you know, allies of the lead village, you know. That was for when Tamari, Gar, and Conqueror decided to help the ninjas when they were fighting the when they were fighting the five sound ninjas. And then boom, they work as a team. It's like we're allies now, okay? Boom. Alright. In Ultimate Ninja 1, level 3 special. Oh man, you do not wanna underestimate that jutsu. Special in Ultimate Ninja 1 is when he summoned his Shukaku. Transfer like a Shukaku is to Shuriki. Like Sandstorm, Sand Shuriken, and then boom. <laughs> Wing style air bullet. That one was hilarious. Very hilarious. And it's like, how should I put this? Like that jutsu, like the level three juice the, the level three special for Ultimate Ninja Three is really hilarious. Now, let me tell you this right now: you don't want to underestimate Gara's jutsu. It puts you to a nightmare where you'll be so afraid of him because of the sand automatically come after you, and then you'll be dead. You now, speaking of dead, that reminds me when the, the Ninja Rain trying to challenged Gara with the needles and he got his butt whipped by Gara when they warned him not to fight him. That reminds me of that episode. I'm not gonna forget about that. It was so hilarious. Like he was all like, is that all you can do? Oh, a simple rainstorm, huh? I have an idea. Let's make it rain blood instead. That's what he said. <laughs> It was hilarious, but I'm not gonna lie. It was just creepy, scary, and on top of that. Now to move on to, I sadly I don't own Ultimate Ninja 2, but I do own Ultimate Ninja 3. So it's the same style, like the same combination, but you can choose what Ultimate Ninja, what Ultimate Ninja, 
ultimate technique what you want. But if you look at the new Jutsu Dead Guard guy, like True Sand Burial, Sand Tsunami, Giant Sand Burial, and then we got Double Sand Blade, and then there are all other Jutsu that in the definition is the same thing based on the whole thing you want. It's the same thing. But they're all good. They're all good. Now, that's covered up for Ultimate Ninja. Now let's talk about Clash of Ninja series. His first appearance since Clash of Ninja 2. Well, let me tell you this. I've been playing a lot of Clash of Ninja series, but I am very good at that game. And I'll tell you that right now. If you look at his combos, if you know how to master his combos in Clash of Ninja 2, for example, it's like, yeah, it's like, he have a simple combo of what he has in Clash of Ninja series. Like, for example, the Japanese game called Genko Mutasi 4, that would have been Clash of Ninja 4 on GameCube, but they didn't make that. They decided to make Revolution on Wii, which is okay, but they still took out some characters that were supposed to be back in the game. You know. When they make Ninja Tetsu 3 and 4, they put all of those characters from the Clash of Ninja series, which is 1 and 2, returnable characters. And then they add some sound ninja characters, or any other characters that's part of the game, part of the show, and whatsoever. But yeah. So yeah, in the whole Clash of Ninja series, like, if you look at it as combos, it's like, Look out! It's, sometimes it'll be hard to master them, and then it makes you know, like, okay, you know what to do. If you're playing as the certain characters in Clash of Ninja series, and the way how this works, it's like you look at the combo list and know how to master them. They, you got like certain combos that you can try to master them, and it's really not that hard to know how to use these characters. I know how to use Guard very well in Clash of Ninja series. I'm telling you right now. Like when I was playing Game of Tessie 4, or Naruto Shippuden, Clash of Revolution 3, and then Game of Thrones Tessie Special. But let me tell you that, on the Shippuden series on Clash of Ninja, they're all the same. And then, now it's like he's fast in that game, but he's different. The combos is the same thing, but the special is so brand new on the Shippuden series, which is in the Clash of Ninja series. And the way how this works, it's like it's the same thing. It's just the same combos, combination. And then you see that little bloating thing like in low damage, and then the guard special is like his down throw. Like once you touch him, and he'll time his special, and then like weak, and then boom. It's like based like his down throw. Based like that. And I'm like, holy cow, that is so cool. Then next you know, boom, like. Oh man. But yeah, it's just the way how that works. I and mean, then you see if you know how to use the the combination for Gar of the Desert in Clash of Ninja series, if you're the master of this. But then you look at the down special and then you go like go inside that little board inside on the old Clash of Ninja series. It's basically like when when Gar was facing Sasuke. He was trying to release that on thing. That was his down special. And then on the Shakuni one, Shukaku on smack you. <laughs> and that move is unblockable. You can't block that. It will break your guard so fucking easy. Like you can't hardly block that. You can avoid it, but once you get caught in that mess, let's say if you activate that special, the down special on Shakuni, boom. Your guard will be breaking, you're gonna take some damage. What can you do about that? Nothing. Now then. On the Storm series. But let me tell you this right now. The Storm series is okay. His combos. How should I put this? But the Storm series is like, okay. He has simple combos like all circles and you, and you hold down and does something cool and then once you hold up you'll push your opponent up in the air and then all of a sudden it's like uh, 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 uh. and then you press triangle to activate the chakra to use a special whatever just you, you want to use 
And then on the first one, his special is Sand Tsunami. It's the same jutsu when you use against King Mark. The same jutsu. And let me tell you this right now, it's like, once you get caught on that match, it's like, it, you're done. You're pretty much going to be done in that jutsu that God just did. To King Mark. But the thing is, King Mark escaped that shit. It's like, that dude cannot be stopped. And then on Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, I own that. I don't own part 2, 3, I usually own Revolution, but I saw that because I got part 4. So part 4, it's the same thing, but then they made the battle so damn quick, and it's like, his Jutsu on Shippuden, man, I do got a couple footage of his special Jutsu on Shippuden. But the thing is, on Storm 4, it was nothing new. It was the same thing. Same special, same thing. Like, what can you uh, do about when Ozumini to Storm 4, Road to Boruto? And it's the same Jutsu. But the thing is, I thought Dar got some new Jutsu. And then you look at Awakening Mode, it's basically like on the latest Storm series. Nothing new. Nothing new. So I was like, yeah, everything's the same thing. I mean, look at Awakening World for Young, Ar young Gara and then Adult Gara, which is, you know, his Kazakage, and then, and I think he got one Awakening when he was in Jinjuri. He could use that. I don't know if he can use that on Storm 4. I never tried it. But it's very, man, powerful, I guess. And also, Gara was in Jump Force. I don't know if you guys played that before. I haven't played that in a minute. And I know they didn't have a lot of DLC updates. And it looks so cool that he was in Jump Force. And boom, it's like, I kind of like using him in Jump Force. Like, I started having him as my teammate. Like, I usually use Vegeta, Asta, and uh, Gara. Those are my teams in Jump Force. And it's like, okay, this is perfect. I like using him. And it's like, yeah, and also, um, his movement is like, well, this is based on Ultimate Ninja Storm series. His combos is like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. and then you look at his specials, like, Sand Coffin, Sand Burial, Sand Shower, like what other special he got, and then you look at the real special when he's summoning his Chicago. That one was very dope. I'm not lying. That special on Jump Force when he summoned his Chukaka was so dope. It's like a ceiling jutsu that he did on Jump Force. It's like a ceiling jutsu. And I'm like, wow, that is so dope. When I react to that special, I'm like, oh my goodness, he summoned his Chukaka and use it like a ceiling jutsu. And then, boom, Sand Barrier. Oh man, I can never, I can never let down a Gara, man. Like you gotta let. I usually like Gara when I first watched Naruto series, and then when Shippuden came out, he was Kazakage until freaking Deidara whoop his ass, man, and took his Jinjuki. Then Naruto and his team has to rescue Gara. That was based like on the show. That was based like on Naruto's Shippuden by the Ninja Revolution 3. The mission is to rescue Gara. But then, sadly, Granny Chio has to use the Forbidden Jutsu to bring her back, to bring him back alive after he, after his Jin Truth, he got taken away by the Akatsuki. And it was so sad that she had to use that Jutsu. The only way to bring back Gar, but I wish there was another way to bring him back after he lost his, after his Jun Chu got taken away and whatsoever. But it was desperate to watch that and on the game too. And it's like, oh my goodness. I don't like, yeah. But anyway, that's 
still got more stuff to show. This figure Gara right here. You guys can see it. This is a young Gara from the old series of Naruto. And then And then we got this one right here. This is a Shippuding Gala figure. And it's very dope. I got this at uh, Japantown, San Francisco. I don't know if I still sell it, but when I look at it at Japantown, I knew it's like, this is so dope. And I decided to buy this. And I'm like, wow. When did they start selling figures in Japantown? I'm like, here in California, they got Japantown in San Francisco. You guys should check that out. For those who live in California, in the Bay Area, you should go check it out. I used to go there all the time. Then we got, ah, I got my leg. Then we got this picture that I drew. This is the thing, Gara of the Desert. Um, it's actually that I did. I mean, it's, I, it's still, the way I draw this is like very good, very, a little bit brutal, but I still got a lot of proof in the And you know, I did well and whatsoever. But yeah, it's like, and you know, I drew this, it's like, this, this one, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to color him because I don't know why I didn't color him. It's like, I really want to color him when I drew him. And it's like, you know what? I should have colored him after I finished drawing him. And it was like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, that would be all. Let me take this headband off because I cannot. And also, oh yeah, I really want to uh, show y'all more stuff. Okay. Give me one second. Okay, so we got this guard t-shirt. I bought this at uh, the El Taco plan. One of my friends put me up to the website and I usually help her get her stuff too and whatsoever. But this shirt, how should I put this? This shirt is so dope. Compared to the one that I'm wearing right now, this one is more dope too. I am not joking. And it's like, this one is the Great Ninja War Gara with the Chicago. And I'm like, this one is so dope. And this is when he was Kazakage. And then I got this one with the uh, Jinchuki. Kind of almost look like Two Face. If you look like, if you guys can see it closely, like, we call our characters Two Face, like, for example, I, I did say earlier, Zamazu and Gara, with their form, they both look like Two Face. And I had to point that out because it's what it looked like. like Gar is brown with his. Zamazu who is is purple. So it's like both my characters are two face. So it's basically like the villain from Batman, two face. And it's like, oh my goodness, it's like, you oh. know, it's really hilarious that Gar and Zamazu both have the same form as two face, and it's very hilarious. But uh, yeah, anyway. That will be all for today, so once again, I thank y'all for the support, help me reach 10,000, oh my goodness, how can I thank y'all enough of helping me reach 10,000 subscribers, and be sure you guys check out one of my friends' channel, and be sure you guys check out the collaboration channel, which is the Otaku Spirit, be sure you guys check them out, even though I've been helping out and my friends should be able to help out the channel too we're both going to progress that channel soon you know we got a lot of subscribers we, we will progress that channel you know i was helping out but then i tried to take a break uh, i got in that way you know so i will still help out though but it'll take some time because i gotta have my friend help out too so that whew, and then on her channel i gotta help her out with that too so i gotta be sure that she'll be active on YouTube so that we both can work things out on the collaboration channel. Hopefully, we'll get worked out. And sometimes it's like it'll take some time for her. I, I, I'm not in a rush, but um, the real still progress of the collaboration channel very soon. So be sure you guys stick around. Be sure you check out that channel. Be sure you check out one of my friends' channel who I'm interested in. Boom! There you go. So, once again, I appreciate y'all. Help me reach 2,000. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Why I like Gar because I'm tell you this right now. Gar is my favorite dude in Naruto series. Even though I've seen the Boruto movies are adult now, 
man, he looked hella dope. He looked hella dope. It was like, he's the man. He's the man. <laughs> all right. That will be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed why I like uh, the 10,000 special thank you support video. And that old guy. Woo, man. So the next one will be like once I reach 20,000, not 15, but 20,000 will be my next special video. So once I reach that, I'm going to talk about what I like with this character next. So you guys. Whew. Make sure you guys subscribe me if you like gaming and all the content I've been doing on and shit. I know you guys can ask hard to request. I appreciate it. I still work on those requests too. So, keep it up. Alright. This is Super Dimitri1991. Thank you all the fans who haven't reached 10,000 subscribers. And I will see y'all next time on a special subscriber video. Thank you and have a good day. See y'all later. Deuces.